Right then, easy level one. This shouldn't be too hard. So all I need to do is keep my focus and I'll be absolutely fine. So if you just push this over here, push this over. Oh God, oh no, no, I've made a miss slip. Please forgive me. Come on, come on, don't, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, please. <laughs> Hey there everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod view where today I'm going to be showcasing the Soccer Band mod which adds in an amazing puzzle game right into your Minecraft world. Now for those of you that don't know what Soccer Band is, you probably do but under a different name as it's a puzzle game where you push blocks around a grid to get them into the appropriate places to complete the puzzle. I didn't know it was called Soccer Band, but I have played it before. It's a really simple yet fun and frankly frustrating game at times, but now you can play it within your Minecraft world. So this mod is actually really well made, so let's get into how to play. The 11 levels already included, and then we'll move on to how to make your own. So to start this off, it's a really clever level system. So to craft your first level, there's two recipes. You can either use the one on the left or the one on the right. It doesn't really matter, but they all use four stone bricks, so you need to get those stone bricks going on. A piece of gold in the middle and four redstone. So it's fairly cheap it's not too bad probably the hardest bit to craft is stone bricks but um yeah you just have to find the gold and the redstone as well and you'll be able to get this little level symbol here so it looks really cool the uh red green and blue is, is looking really sweet so if you go into this chest here we've got all the levels in case in here but how do you even spawn the levels in well this is the one you get it's called tutorial level one generator the basics so these are all level generators and we're going to go over here and while you're holding the um level generator it will show you kind of like a grid where it's going to be spawned into to. And if it comes into a red grid, you won't be able to spawn it. You can actually spawn it on top of a cactus. But if there's like another level close by and it goes red, you can't place a level down there. So things are looking good and I'm going to place it down here. So just a swift right click. We'll spawn it. And there you go. There's the example of the red one. You can't spawn it in because look, you can't generate the level here. Another level is occupying this location. So normally this will take away your level generator. So we're just going to put this up here and go straight into the level. So it spawns this kind of like um, gray box thing and this is the first level. So let's jump up here and we'll be able to show you how it works. So tutorial level number one, the basics. Um, SSP I guess is survival single player, I'm not sure. But anyway, this is your first level. So over here you've got a red X and that is pretty much your place where you need to go or there's a place where you don't need to go. So it's kind of, kind of confusing, you kind of, you're, you're able to tell which one is the one you're supposed to get to but I'll get to why those are different in a bit. So as you can see there's some redstone up here and there's a prize crate just behind this wall here and to move the crate you're just going to need to right click on each side. So to push it forward I right click on the edge and it will move forward one square. And if I want to push it right and go over there, I press this side backwards and I, I think you get the idea. You obviously can't push it up or down. So this green tick here is your prize. So this will contain a certain item which you can get for completing the level, which is your motivation for crafting all these things. So craft them, complete them and get goodies. It's all pretty sweet. So we're going to try and complete this level. It's pretty easy. All you need to do is put the crate onto the red X. So this level is super easy. So we're just going to right click the side. And we're going to move along. So let's move along here. Push it into the box and we'll automatically activate the redstone which will go along here. Check that we've done it correctly and we'll get our loot. So here we go. You can see the redstone moving along and we get our loot which is the next level. And because this is just a tutorial level you don't get any loot you just get the next level which is very clever. So what we do to um, pretty much just get rid of this structure is hit the box and you do this to restart any normal structure. So if you fail the puzzle when you want to do it again you just break the block and you can um, do the level again but the, t the difference between the tutorial levels and the real levels are that the tutorial levels will always drop their little level sign but if you um, fail a level and then break the crate on a real level then um, you have a chance of not getting this level back so you'll have to start all over again to try and get your better loot. So let's go on to the second tutorial level, right click this down and this one is a lot bigger and I will warn you I'm very bad at these things but hopefully we can get through them, a couple of them today. So let's go up here, go into here and this one is called Double Trouble. Now the thing about this is you can't like jump up here because you can't really see but there is an X down there which we need to get this crate on so we're going to do this and that will activate one piece of redstone and oh my god um, I think we're just going to have to go across here and then through here as you can see this is where um, the prize will be given and then we'll just move this back here and then move this along here and we hopefully will complete the level 
this is very clever. You need to have some kind of redstone tricks to figure out how to make these, but you can just kind of study these and figure out how to do it. But what is really cool is in the dark, these are just like lamps, so they will light up the inside so that you can make any kind of structure and you can't destroy the lamps. You can't mine them, but they will supply light. So we completed that level and we've got number three. So let's just break this. And we'll move on to level three. So let's just do level three and then I'll go on to some of the real levels. I, I don't think I can do this one. I have tried this one before, but it's damn hard. So if we go around here, we can find the staircase, go up into this level, and then we found tutorial level three, doors. So this one has some kind of hidden elements. So not all of the uh, red X's will open up the checkpoint straight away or won't finish the level straight away. It can actually activate certain things. So we're gonna demonstrate that by activating this one. Now, I'm not sure where to start with this. I think I'm going to just kind of move this one over here and activate the red X and see what happens. So let's wait for the redstone to work. And as you can see, this exploded here. So these white kind of, um, I guess they're like, I don't know, they're kind of like cobwebs. Let's just call them cobwebs. These cobwebs will activate different stuff. So if you see these on a level, do beware because some of the X's will activate this or be wary of them because they will help you complete the level. As you can see, the level looked impossible as you can't get through this gap. But as we activated one of the X's, we are able to do it. So let's move this around here and we should be able to complete the level. Oh yes, check it out. So this will um, activate level four and I'm gonna show you some of the real levels now. Actually, let's just get rid of this and we can show you the real levels. Bam, there we go. So let's move over here. I can't remember how many tutorial levels there are. I think there's five and it will show you the different kind of um, features of each level. So there, yeah, there's six levels and we'll teach you about all of it, but we're going to go on to the first level, which is the easy level one called generator. So there are only currently five levels in here, but we'll get to how you can create new ones. And this is a very, very new mod on the Minecraft forums. Um, I haven't seen it before and it's only got a couple of replies, but I think it's awesome and deserves some love. So there'll be some new levels in the future. So let's place this down. This one is obviously massive look at this oh my god so this is our level and it looks kind of like a maze and as you can see at the end here there are some cobwebs so some something's going to happen really bad right here or really good and because this level is called vaporizing loot i'm guessing it's bad there is um there's lava at the top here and i'm guessing we need to get this crate over here to this x over here so um while avoiding these x's because these are going to generate bad things so let's do this this is the first of the easy levels and you get this when you um finish the tutorial levels and is your first one where you get loot so let's um let's complete this and get the loot i mean god damn so yeah i have played some of these games before online like a long time ago but i didn't realize it was called soccer man but apparently that is what it's called and this mod is i i just think it's really well made really clever and works really well and I'll show you how to create your own levels later on when we've completed this one. I won't show all the levels because otherwise um, that kind of ruin the mod. So let's get this box to the end. It does take a little bit of a while and if I do it wrong, that's going to be so bad. It's, something's gonna, something bad's going to happen. That lava is going to just destroy everything. So let's um, get this through here. It might take a while. Well, it won't take too long. Let's just get it through here. Make sure you don't misclick because that will be bad. Let's just get it through here, through here, through this little hole here. And we're almost at the home stretch here. This is going to be sweet. I really enjoy this mod, actually. It's just an extra thing you can add into Minecraft. If you like playing mini games, it's single player. Or you could play it um, multiplayer as well to help um, each other try and solve the puzzles. They're really fun and really well made, too. And um, as I keep mentioning, you can make your own, which you can submit to the Minecraft forums post to the modder. So we can add them in future versions. But I'll get to that in a second. I'm just trying to fill time while I push this, this interesting block along this interesting maze. So let's uh, push this along here. This along here. And we're almost there, guys. We're so close to the end. Oh my god. I'm, I'm getting excited right now. Um, yeah, I didn't want to mess it up. If we hit one of the axes, I'm guessing that bad things are going to happen. But we're going to try that out in a bit. See what would have happened if we'd have failed the level. So we're out in the open now. We're finally out into the open. So we need to get over to that red X over here. So one more push and then push it across here. And hopefully this is what we were supposed to do. This should be the goal X. Oh yes, look at this loot. Oh my god, it randomizes every time. Last time I completed this one, I got diamonds, so it's definitely worth doing. And did we get our next our next level? I don't think we did, but I'm not sure how you get the next levels then. Um, to be honest, I'm not too sure. But anyway, we got some loot. We got some amazing rotten flesh, some bones, and some gold. So it's definitely worth doing. And I'm actually going to see what happens if you fail the level. So let's go over to here. Yep, yep. As, as I thought, this stuff 
just disappears and the the loot would have been destroyed that is not good so that is amazing and we're going to show you how to how to create your own levels now so over here is a very very basic level and i'm just going to shove all this in the chest over here and change it to uh day before the night is upon us so, in this chest over here, we've got some of the main tools that I've used to make this little map here. So, what you're going to need is all the materials. There's loads of materials in here. If you go into your creative mode, you've got the tab that says soccer band, and you've got loads of unbreakable lamps which give you different lighting. You've got, yeah, just loads of colours. All the colours of the dyes that you get in normal Minecraft. You've got concrete glass, which looks cool. We've got concrete stone, which you can make your out outer kind of level with. And then you've got the stuff called um, connected targets. So these will, like, connect to each other and activate red redstone signal. You've got your box. You've got your target, which you're supposed to hit at the end. You've got your loot generator. You've also got your redstone remover, which will remove blocks. And then these vaporizing blocks, as you saw with this one over here. And let me just go over here again. At the top were all these vaporizing blocks um, so they were around here holding the lava in and they're also up here so it kind of worked like redstones when one disappears it kind of works like a fuse and then they disappeared and let the lava out so when they get a redstone signal they will just chain together and start to disappear which is a really cool feature and allows you to make some really really cool um, maps of your own so let's see what I have done here I've used concrete stone for the floor and I've got my target here this is the block and when the block activates the target X it will activate a redstone signal as I've got you shown here and yeah that's pretty much it so we're gonna have to put some kind of goal down you need to have some kind of goal otherwise the puzzle is pointless so we're gonna put our loot generator down and to activate something or put something inside your loot to um, reward the winner for his um, his efforts you're going to put stuff in here so what you need to do is hold your valuables in your hand or stuff you don't want to give them and right click it and it will go straight into the loot generator so that's right in there now i don't think you can get it back unless you break it so now we need to complete this puzzle and show you what happens so we'll just complete this as normal so you can imagine this on like a multiplayer server or something. You can create your own levels and just share them with your friends. Get them to complete them and it'll be awesome. So let's go over here. And as this block will go onto this, it will emit a redstone signal. And it will, I think it's a pretty unlimited one. So let's, uh, let's do this. Let's do it. Huh. <laughs> so that was a bit of a fail, it didn't work, but um, that's because I had the redstone connected at the top rather than down here. You have to have it connected out the bottom. Um, yeah, I knew there was a reason I did that. I was like, why did I put it on the ground? But anyway, let's try this again. So let's put this loot crate down here, or target box. Put it over to here and you'll see the redstone signal come across and the loot will explode into existence. So we got our stack of gold there. And it's that simple, it's so simple to make one of these and you can use all of the extra blocks like the lamps. And what else have we got in here? We've got all the vaporizing blocks as well, which you saw in previous levels. And you can do just what I did and just discover um, the other levels. Just spawn them in and just punch around to see what they've done with redstone and work out how the items work. It's really cool. And you can actually share these levels with the mod creator, which I highly suggest you do because I imagine they take time. And it's just fun. So if you place all your stuff down and then get this, which is the level converter available from the creative inventory. And then you right click the edge of one of your puzzles. So... Take the furthest diagonal edge, right click it, and then go over to the other edge. So the other edge of your puzzle, shift and right click, and you will it say it's at the bottom. Successfully save the generation code in generation code 2.txt. So that will save in your .minecraft folder, I believe, or wherever your Minecraft is located on your computer. And that is saved. So this puzzle is saved. It's rubbish, but it's saved. And you can send that across to the modder in the um, Minecraft forums post, which is in the description below, and send him in your puzzle. So take time. Make some awesome puzzles and send them to him to add to this crazy mod because he's looking for some to add to it. Because I imagine it takes a hell of a long time to create some awesome puzzles like he's done. So, I think that is pretty much what this mod has to offer. And if you like what you see and do want to play it for yourself, have some fun with some puzzles. If you are a fan of puzzle games, that is, then please go to the description below to check it out. Also, if you're new to the channel, then please do hit that subscribe button for daily Minecraft videos. And for all of you, a like and a favour would be greatly appreciated too. So thanks a lot guys for watching. Do go check out this mod. Really well made. And go and go and make some mods for this amazing person. He's made some, put a lot of effort into here so that you can create your own puzzles. So yeah, try it out. Go and check it out. It's really awesome. So yeah, thanks again for watching guys and goodbye. <laughs>